Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by today. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And the purpose of this video is to talk about grayscale for just a moment before we start coloring. The month of September 2020 we'll be coloring in grayscale, or I will. And if you choose to follow along and color along, that would be great. Uh, I have a stack of books here and on the side here and some examples to show you different types of grayscale. And I'm going to explain to you uh, different ways I color it as we go this month and I choose a certain picture. I will be choosing different types of grayscale so that I don't just color the same type. Okay, so let's start out by... Um, showing you some of the books that I'll be drawing from, that I've had some of these books, and a couple of them are new. So um, if you have any of these books, join in with me. If you feel you just want to watch how Grayscale's done, that's fine. Um, I'm giving you a disclaimer. Um, I'm not an expert on Grayscale. I don't do it like a lot of people. I try to do it the simplest way for me. And yet I like the way it looks and the way it came out. So that's the main thing. So here we go. Um, I wanted to show you first just um, this artist, or this company actually. Jade Summer's not an artist. It's a company of artists. And I'm going to give you a quick flip of some of these books. This is Grayscale Cute Fairies by Jade Summer. And... For, I guess I would say, a beginner colorist, these grayscales are probably, would be the easiest to do. And um, this one is similar, very similar. Chibi Girls, this is the grayscale two books in one. And these might even be simpler. Um, I think they're pretty much the same type of grayscale. Some grayscale is lighter, some is dark, and some is really dark. So I'm going to show you the difference. So if you're just beginning, I would suggest actually this book, Chibi Girls by Jade Summer. Now my disclaimer is I do not get paid on this channel by YouTube. I am not an affiliate of anyone. Anything I show you or recommend is because I purchased it with my own money and I like it. Okay, uh, so I would recommend for the very, very beginner on Grayscale to use Chibi Girls um, you can get one book. You don't have to buy the two-in-one, but the two-in-one is really nice. And then she has this one, Fairies, um, which is also very nice. And as you can see, the grayscale is not that dark. But yet, when you color over it, you're going to have automatic shading and detailing on your pictures. Now, that's not to say that we won't go over them with pencil, too, at some point, depending on the book and on how the picture looks. These two by Jade Summer are a little different. Uh, Art Nouveau, and this is Light and Dark Fantasy. Um, I bought both of these books, Sights Unseen, and um, it's they're not really my style of art. But now that I have this drawing ink where I can modify, like this girl has blood dripping from her mouth, I'm going to take that out and then color the picture. So that'll be the type of thing I do too. Do some. Um, these uh, seem a little darker. Um, maybe not. Well, that does. There's just a couple in here that seem a little darker. So um, I'm going to. Uh, go through especially this one the dark and light fantasy just a flip through here uh, there are a lot of pictures in each one that I like and I will be coloring okay so those are Jade Summer now this one here was not in a book I went to Micah, the artist Micah Jelena's website, uh, not website, but her uh, Estee shop, and purchased um, some of hers, and this was one of them called Cami, and this is a real dark grayscale. As you can see, the background is pretty dark. The girl was dark. I made her veil translucent, um, and I think it came out fine, but folks... Don't let grayscale bother you that you have to find what's the darkest, the medium, and the lightest area. Which one do I color first? 
please don't let that stress you out. Here's what I did. On the back here, I used alcohol marker for most part. As you can see, the girl, her veil, the skin, everything was alcohol marker. And we're going to do alcohol marker to show you how easy these grayscales can be. Okay, let's move on to a different type of grayscale. And now I'm going to look at the Animal Woodcut Designs by Tim Foley. And this is by Creative Haven. Before I show you my pictures, I'm going to show you a little bit here, a little bit of a flip through of this book. And as you can see, this is dark, but, but they're dark. Um, the white areas are lines, okay? And a lot of people get this and they go try to go in the white lines and not uh, and color it. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did with this. There's still a lot in here, and I do want to work in this this month. I won't be able to work in all the books that I'm showing you, but I will be choosing out um, some uh, pictures from different types of grayscale. Okay, uh, the first one I did in this book by Tim Foley were these frogs. And um, I don't know if the glare in here... Uh, these are uh, poisonous frogs in the jungle. Okay, and this was done, believe it or not, folks, when I first started, I started with pencil. And as you can see here, uh, it wasn't a marker. Um, this took a very, very long time. I do like the way it came out, but when I get to the marker ones, you're going to see a big difference in brightness. So... And this one I did also with watercolor. It's crinkly and some glitter. This was a little easier using the watercolor. So that's also an option or your uh, water-soluble crayons, anything water-soluble. That makes it easier too. This one I got smart and I started using alcohol markers. And then I used pencil to enhance and to detail uh, these pictures. And they actually are very easy once you start using your markers. Okay, and this is a rooster here. Um, and I had limited markers at the time I did this. Uh, so I would have chosen bright, brighter colors like on the blue and purple, but I didn't have them. So these have been done a long time ago and the tiger, and he's with alcohol marker too. Very simple done, and a white Posca pen for his whiskers. Very easily done. And this one, I only had that color for an orangutan. Orangutan is just reddish, but a little bit lighter. Maybe there's darker ones in the jungle, I don't know. Some Posca pen on his eyes, and again, marker. Okay. So we're going to do the different techniques this month of September 2020 and work on different types of grayscale. The next one I want to show you is by Tim Foley, too, and it is also a woodcut design. And they're um, fabulous trees or beautiful trees. And this was when I was using pencil. So it took me a long time to do this. But I like the way it came out. And if you want to use pencil, don't let me discourage you. You can. Uh, you just have to color in the white spaces here. And you can go over black because it's not going to show up unless you're using a white pencil or something really light. Um, and then I did this one, the palm trees, which I really like. But I, I, like I said, I'm glad I switched over to using markers because not only does it go faster, but I feel like the colors are brighter. But it's up to you. We may do some in pencil and may do some in marker. I'm going to probably not lock my end self into saying what I'm going to do because I might change my mind. Okay, Adorable Animals by Jay Madej. This is an awesome book, and let me show you some of the pictures in here. Let me show you. They're just cute homespun pictures 
This one's not a hard one to do at all. And these are just, this the watering can is so pretty. I'm going to show you mine in a minute. So this is a really neat book. And also in the front here, she gives you um, information, which I really like. I suggest this book. How to use colored pencils, markers, or watercolor pencils, or even chalk pastels. So those are going to be the mediums that I stick with, too. And here is the difference between the original grayscale, the colored pencil look, the brush marker look, and the pastels. So these are the mediums that we'll be using. There's four different mediums. So if you really, really don't know anything about grayscale, let's... You, this book would be great to start with. Adorable Animals Grayscale by Jane Madej. Okay. And in this book, I was new and I used pencil on this one. It uh, came out lighter. These were, this was done with the polychromos. And um, I did that with polychromos. This one was the polychromos too. But you can see when I went to alcohol marker, the difference in the vibrancy. And then I went and detailed the bird and uh, the flowers with my pencils. And just give it some shadow or go on some, some of the shadow. And my bicycle looks rusted here, bicycle handles. Okay, so... Those will be the mediums we use, and we're going to work on different types of grayscale here. Another one is Intricate Ink Animals. This is volume four. There are a lot of these books, and by Tim Jeffs, and I would recommend these too. Now, these are all have sort of a black background, but don't let that scare you because you're going to be coloring this image mainly. It has a background already, and... Um, these are landscapes. So uh, what I did is went on to Pinterest and looked up uh, and on Google and on Bing and looked up images of these animals, like this is a sloth. So what color is a sloth? Well, go on to your computer to a search engine of some kind, type in, um, you know, colored images of sloths, and then you'll know what color to make it. So we are going to work in this book, too. Um, just, I bought animals because I like animals. And they have other, um, he has other books in this volume. Another great artist for Grayscale is Molly Harrison. And this is Magic in the Air and Sea. It's a Grayscale coloring book. There's 25 pages to color in here. She has an example of hers on the back. And hers are not real dark. So that one's not even a grayscale. She'll throw in a regular line art every so often. But these are awesome too. And we might do a Molly Harrison picture here. Um, I like her books. So there we go. Another great artist for grayscale is uh, Ikuko. Um, it, she is a Japanese artist, and I have some other of her books. This is Elegant Faces, and um, some are, like, these in the back are not grayscale, but these are. And they're not a hard grayscale. They are pretty clear to see where the light, medium, and dark is. But if you're going to follow me, we're going to probably use some pastels and some markers and do this easier than you think. So the, this is another really beautiful book here, Elegant Faces. And then we have Christine Karen, K-A-R-R-O-N, Benny Blue. There's another Benny Blue book. She's got two out, maybe more by now. I bought this a long time ago. And uh, we have this cute little um, bunny, Benny Blue, and... His grayscale is sort of simple. Pictures are simple, but they're adorable. And I would recommend this one also. 
And then I have, this is um, Flowers and Gems by Gracia Salvo. And this is another great grayscale. This is a spiral bound book. And uh, these are just beautiful women. This is, should not be that hard with, um, with markers. Well, you could even use pencil on it. I'm going to be using all four of those mediums at some point, depending on the picture that we select or I select color. And uh, this is just a great, great book. Okay. And we're getting almost down to the end there. I have this book. It's a Polish book printed in Poland. Someone gave it to me. I do not know what this translates to be. I have no idea. But now this is an example of a really, really dark grayscale. But we are going to do this too and see just how it comes out and how we're going to make it as easy as we can. And there's a story in this book. I wished I could read this, but I don't know what it says. But there's some pretty pictures here. Some of them get sort of dark, and what I mean by that is spooky, <laughs> I guess, dark. And that's dark. So this is a different type of grayscale, but we are going to give it a try too, folks. There's some pretty pictures that I like in here, like this hand with the rose. Um, when I mean different, this is a, a little different, strange to me. Um, this also here in the back and the bug that has the eyes and his wings. And some of these are just a little bit, oops, I'm ripping the book, different. But we'll pick out something and we'll work in this too so we'll know how to handle a darker grayscale. And last but not least is um, Linda Wright and her series of books, Charming, this is Charming Houses and Gardens. I have, we just did one on her villa, books about villas. And this one, you could use the um, markers, you could use, I used uh, pastels. She gives you an example of what color to make things here. And you can color here, and then there's a test page so if you want to try this with markers, which we may do, and or uh, uh, whatever the other mediums were we saw in the other book, we may do that too. So we'll choose something out of here to do, and uh, hopefully it's going to come out looking that pretty. So there you have it. Uh, uh, this is September the 2nd, 2020. It's on a Wednesday. And I'm still working on the video for you guys called Pictures Colored by You. And thank you, thank you to everyone that sent in your picture in support of my video. And you're going to have to give me a couple days to get that manufactured and fixed up and print, you know, uh, published. And then as soon as I can, I will be starting grayscale. So this sort of gives you an idea of where we're going with the grayscale. And... Um, the different artists, different types of grayscale, if you're looking to buy a book, then I would suggest for the absolute beginner, either Jane Madej's or this Chibi Girls by uh, Jade Summer. Uh, that would be great, too, to work with. So any of these, um, if you have them, we'll work on them together. If you don't, um, please follow along anyway and visit my channel. I never say this very often, but I'm going to ask you to give me a thumbs up when you watch my videos if you like them, because that helps me out to grow my channel here on YouTube. And when I get a lot of thumbs up and or you share my video, um, that puts me higher up for visibility and helps me grow my channel. So I would appreciate any thumbs up that you would give me. Okay, folks. I'm going to leave you today, but we'll be back in, in the next day or so with some uh, things to start coloring, and I will be finishing up that video for you. So, until we meet again, happy coloring.